everybody, Camelia here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new sewing magazine uh, flip through. Today we have the April issue of Patrones magazine, so issue 456. And um, well, as you can see here in Patrones uh, world is already summer, not so much here in Germany where I live at the moment. So we have a happy color with uh, um, a nice, uh, I was thinking it's a dress, but actually you'll see that it's a jumpsuit. So let's uh, let's take a look what we have. We have a lot of nice colors, some red dresses and pretty colors overall, really nice. Let's see, the first pattern is um, the um, catwalk pattern. And we have, uh, how it's called, it's a coat sleeveless dress cold dress sleeveless it's really pretty in this uh, pink uh, let's see is a wool it has some really nice details of course some welt pockets as you can see here very very pretty and from what I can see here in the shoulders there are some really light uh, shoulder pads it's looking very nice okay this is pattern number one, it's a designer pattern. As you can see here, it has some slits in the back. You can always see that on these little markings here on the technical drawing. All right, what do we have next? Next we have a really pretty skirt made in linen and the same uh, is for the top. For the skirt, I didn't watch it yet, but they have again, um, I think they teamed up with the, um, what's the name? Colors for Baby or something like that. It's a really big channel here on YouTube where um, she's also doing these flip throughs of the pattern of the Patrones magazine. And she's making the last uh, time uh, some uh, tutorials for Patrones and this month is this skirt and also uh, I think it's uh, another skirt later in the magazine. But let's take a look at the skirt. I think it's a really pretty skirt. It's made in linen and I think this will work also really nicely in uh, some linen blends or something like that. I think it's really pretty to, to make. From what I can see here, this is, I think it's just a cut-on piece, these little flowers here. It has a zipper in the side, as you can see here. Very nice and I suppose really, actually it also has a uh, easy to sew label. Then we have this uh, shirt, which is also very pretty. Let's see, we see some details here. It's a very loose uh, fitting shirt. It has a really small bottom band pockets and I think, oh yes, I see it here. It has a yoke in the back with an inverted pleat. Very nice in linen. Definitely linen is going to be the trend in this spring and summer, I think, because we've seen it already also in Buddha, also in the, in the Knip mode, and I'm pretty sure we are going to see more of it. And also in Patrones, they give us a lot of patterns in, uh, in linen. Next, so more linen. <laughs> we have some, uh, let's see, what is the first pattern? The first pattern is, the, is this jacket, it's a linen bomber jacket, which it has some really cool pockets, you can see them here. Is actually a um, patch pocket you can see it and it has also a welt the the um, entrance of the pocket is actually a welt uh, pocket it's really it's a really cool detail I love it really really nice um, as you can see there is some elastic in the waist here oops there is elastic here, you can see it also here. And from what I can see here, the jacket is also lined. So I'm not sure if the in the magazine they give, uh, let's see. Uh, I cannot see that from the description of the pattern, but in the pictures you can definitely see that the pattern is lined. The next, um, the only thing that I would change probably in this one will be to, I don't know if the sleeves are so long, or it's just because she has it a little bit hanging from the body, but I think the sleeves are really, really long. So I don't really like long sleeves that I have the impression that they are always looking frumpy. 
So making the sleeves a little bit shorter would be really nice. Or even, I think you could definitely add the elastic that they have here in the waist. Of course, you can also add it here in the sleeve. And But again, just make the sleeve a little bit shorter. The next uh, pattern in these pictures here is top number five. It's a halter top again. This is, um, I don't know, we've seen already a lot of garments uh, in this style. I really like the wrap effect here in the front. I think it's looking very sweet. And also with these gathers here. Um, this one is also made in linen. You can see it a little bit closer here. And I suppose from what I can see here hanging in the back, there is a tie that is going from the neck and that is getting tied in the back. And the last pattern we've seen here is this pair of pants. And the pants, they have a cut-on tie. You can see it here. And then you get another tie on the side and then you get to tie the pants here. I think it's a really nice model. I really like the width of the leg here. Uh, I think you should consider a linen that is not really thick, something that needs to have drape. And of course, you have to have your piece with all the wrinkles that you get in a pair of pants like this, being made out of linen. Um, next, we have a jumpsuit made in crepe. I, I, I know it's a polyester, but of course, you could make this one in a variety of fabrics. It uh, is not really the style of garment that I would wear. Uh, here in the back, you can see it has a center back zipper. Oh, I don't know what to say about it. I don't really like, I don't know. I find that the length here is a little bit odd and also the shape. Mm, not so much to say about it. And this overcoat here, I really like the fabric. This should be something really, really easy uh, to make. Next, what do we get next? Ooh, I really like this, uh, this outfit. We get this uh, vest, which has uh, a zipper in the front, as you can see. It has a really nice channel in the back. Oops. It has a really nice channel in the back. I don't know if this is with elastic, but I suppose it is elastic and the drawstring is only coming in the front, scrunching up the things a little bit in the in the tunnel here. But the back definitely has elastic. I think this is a really, really nice uh, piece of uh, garment. Really like it. It's looking really elegant. And also in this, in this, um, in this linen is very nice. Take a look at the nice pockets here with a nice shoulder detail. This is a really nice one. I love it with a gold uh, zipper. And it has also, we cannot see it in any of these pictures, but you can see it here. It has uh, a collar. I don't know if it's with a collar stand, but I think this is a really nice garment. And we also get these um, shorts with pleats and I think I like them. I'm not sure. So it's better to have a nicer picture. But um, of course, this is a garment that needs to be really flowy on your body and not so, um, how should I say, not very tight because this place needs to hang really freely in this linen. It's really, really nice. Uh, I really like this, both of them. Then we have some patterns. Uh, the next ones that I'm wondering, you know, they are not really screaming summer, especially not Spanish summer anyway. And one of them are, okay, let's see, we get here, we have this um, trench coat uh, made in cotton. with The hidden button closure, I suppose. Well, that's quite okay. But then we have these pants, these ones here, with a high waist, something like a paper bag style uh, waistband. As you can see, this one are ma made in, I suppose it's a synthetic leather. But to be honest, every time I'm seeing these kind of garments, I I made one time a, a dress in a fabric. I don't know if this is, again, if this is really leather, but that dress was so sweaty and I also did not wear it because of that. Definitely not a garment that I'll use for the summer days in Spain. Then we have a really, really beautiful coat. It's a really pity that we don't get some nicer pictures. I don't think it's lined. 
but it's very beautiful. It has some really nice uh, princess lines in it. It has those uh, uh, pockets. Of course, you cannot see anything in these pictures. But from the from the drawing, it's really, really nice. And the last one, we have another pair of pens. And I had to check what means this word. Because this is the fabric that they use. And charol, I suppose it's called. In Spanish, it's patent leather or, you know, like a, that sh shiny leather. But I'm not sure if it's a real leather or, again, if it's only a um, synthetic one. But again, not really something, um, a garment, not a garment. The garment is okay. The patterns are really nice. But the fabric is, I'm not sure that that's the fabric that I would choose for a summery outfit. Um, I really like the white on white tones. Very, very classic and beautiful. I was really hoping that we would get a pair of jeans from Patrones, you know. We don't. We get only uh, some more trench coats. Definitely not really summery. We have this one, uh, trench coat number 15. You can see it here a little bit. You know, typical gorgeous uh, Trench coats from Patrones, I think we've seen better from them. This one has much more um, ease in it. It has another sleeve style, so something a little bit for everybody. This one has a really, you can take a peek here. Oops, let's go back. You can see that this one has a really deep slit here on the sides. And I took a look at the instructions. This is also getting finished, of course, with the facing. So... But this one has obviously much more ease than the one on the jeans on the left. And we get also a pattern. Well, I think it's not really a pattern, but more like a rectangular piece of fabric you can cut to make this skirt in a really cool uh, plissé fabric. Then we get, uh, again, two pretty patterns. We have here this skirt, which is kind of interesting because it's getting here in the front a pleat. That is getting sewn in and here you have some decorative buttons and this is also one of the tutorials that they offer this month and also again a shirt with a cut on sleeve i think i like the other one better also the other one has that a nice uh, well not really like that but it has a yoke in the back with the inverted pleat is adding a little bit more interest to it and with the pocket you know uh, you know, it's a pretty skirt. Next we have the cover garment. And as I said, I was thinking it's a dress, but it's not a dress, it's a jumpsuit. And the jumpsuit, it has a zipper in the back, as you can see here, which you definitely need to have to get into your jumpsuit. Uh, I think it has also a slit in the front here. And is made in, what is this made? This is... Um, silky polyester but I think it will work and it will feel much better maybe in a viscose or something like that in a chali that is really soft also uh, oh you can see here that also the neckline has of course a opening with a button and a loop I think it's a nice garment definitely good for summer then we have here these ones you know they could have just let them out because you've seen these ones so much already a pair of pants, which are kind of nice. I am all with pants in this kind of type of pants. I'm also making one now. Not from Patrones, but also a loose pair of pants. Uh, these ones, they are pretty nice. You know, you have some slanted pockets and some pleats. And you have a vest. I don't have so much to say about it. But then, oops, don't go so far. Then we have this pretty shirt here with um, these ties are cut on. So it's a really, uh, the, the garment is made to have those uh, tied. Uh, you can definitely, I suppose, make it straight and wear it as you want, but having these ties extra cut on, of course, you can make a really nice knot. And then we have this really cool jeans skirt. Um, it doesn't have a yoke in the back, but what is cool about this skirt is the fact that it has elastic in the back. So you get a really nice fit there. And it has also, as you can see it here, it has a slit here in the front. All right, I really like this one. And the shirt. The shirt is also really nice. It's, I think, what you call a camp shirt. But because of the of this uh, 
um, neckline here with the facing and also a little color that is forming like a notched color but it's actually not and let's see what do we have more of course the skirt is nice it has also slanted pockets then we have here again some odd patterns for this issue but this has something really cool that i'm very intrigued by um let's see what well, actually is the next the next one this blouse here it has some really voluminous uh sleeves i was thinking that is happening something very interesting here but actually it's just the sleeve that it has a lot of volume and being made in a poplin it has also a lot of bonds to it and here the sleeve is just uh, getting gathered with some elastic and then here we have this really wide pants made in uh, crepe you know it's black not so much to see and then we have this blazer a really interesting uh, cut of the color here very nice all right and next we have this blouse you know i've seen this blouse first and i was thinking well this is really crazy man you can see here the details a little bit it has some uh, extra uh, uh something here stitched on and this is also some extra pieces that they are getting uh you know like an add-on peplum or something like that but what i find interesting in this pattern is actually the fact that this sleeve going to make it a little bit bigger actually the sleeve is cut you know like you usually have your sleeve well this is a really bad so usually you have your sleeve like this but this one is actually cut like this and you have here some notches where these two pieces are getting this one and this one are getting stitched together and this here this middle piece is getting gathered as you can see here you can see here oops that they are gathered uh, that they are gathered in the middle of the sleeve and i think that's a really unusual detail and of course even if i don't like this blouse this shirt or at least you know all the craziness that is happening below the waist i think that sleeve is really really nice and i can definitely use that uh, for another pattern then we have some uh, more catwalk designs and i must say that these ones are all you know out there it's not your everyday garment uh, i've took a i took a look at the back of this dress it's open really open also here is you don't have a lot of coverage uh, really nice you know garments to go out i suppose definitely summery here oh this skirt is really gorgeous this one is really nice but in this one of course you definitely have your feet really really nice around your rib cage here and the upper part you really need to give this a good fit also this one here oh this one the only thing that i can see in this dress when i'm watching here is this slit i mean this one is so high you always wonder you know if she's making the next step how much is she going to show <laughs> But uh, I can appreciate definitely the design with this really nice uh, uh, piece here. Although we cannot really see a lot in these pictures. Oh, and then we have the big sizes of this month. And I'm kind of pissed off what they did here. Because you can see here this is the skirt. I'm not sure if it's cut on the bias. I cannot say. But it has a, a gathered detail here in the front and I wonder how is that really looking in the garment but of course we cannot see that because in the picture from the front the model is sitting down and the picture where she's standing up we can see only the back really stupid why 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 and also the shirt no idea how it's falling on the body because of course we can't see anything I like the detail of the sleeve here of the the cuff is uh, folded up because it's a really deep cu uh, cuff as you can see in the technical drawing very very pretty that we cannot see anything then we have here um, this is a bias cut skirt with a really nice jacket actually 
I really like this one. The length is really pretty. Very nice. Also how they styled it here. Very, very nice. You can see some details here. Yes, I really like this one. Fortunately, not my size. And then we have some kids patterns. We have a pretty, actually two pretty dresses, designer dresses. And here's some more. And the sizes are for two, four and six years. And that was it for today and for this Patronus, April 2024. And if I were to choose my favorites from this month, I really like the bomber jacket. Those pockets are really, really nice. Definitely shorten the sleeves or maybe add some elastic also. Uh, the linen skirt is also nice, skirt number three. Uh, I really, really, really love this vest together with the linen pants. Very beautiful. What do I like more? I definitely appreciate these pants here with that tie in the waist. Nice. Highly recommended that color like this. Very beautiful, beautiful details. Where is that linen shirt? This one here, linen shirt number two. I find it nicer than this one because this one has also some sleeves. It's adding a little bit more interest. Definitely going to keep in mind the sleeves of this one. You know, the gathered sleeves in the middle. Oh, this is really beautiful. The, the um, jeans skirt. And for the rest, for the big sizes, definitely this jacket. It's really, really nice. So this is it. This was my uh, flip through of Patronus uh, uh, 2020, April 2024. Next one, of course, is going to be the Burda. So let's see how much linen we get in that one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.